everyone, and this is story is all about the grateful crane. Once upon a time, near in a pretty little pond, there lived a beautiful crane, but she wasn't grateful at all. Oh, I am no one, for everything I have is useless. My legs are like pigs, my beak is so ugly, and my wings so pale and white. How I wish I was a butterfly. Everyone in the world would love and adore me. I would be the most beautiful creature ever. The next morning, the queen woke up. Something was wrong. She wasn't near her pond, and she was not a queen anymore. She had made her wish and had transformed into the most beautiful little butterfly. She flied as high as she could go to show her wings to the world. Pukes! Pukes! At that moment, an eagle came after her. She was so scared that she started to fly very fast, but her wings were very small, and she found it very hard to escape. Oh no, get away from me! At last, she hid in the bushes, and the eagle fly away. <gasps> Being a beautiful butterfly is terrible. It had caused me more trouble than ever. Maybe if I was a fish in the water, it would be better. The poor little butterfly fell into a deep sleep. She was very tired. And when she woke up, hmm, what is this? Why I can't fly? She soon realized that the wings she was trying to fly with were now tiny little fins. Fins? Where are my wings? I am now a fish. My wish came true. She went on looking at all the lovely corals and beautiful fishes. But she soon, she soon came into a very lonely area. Suddenly, she bumped into something pink and soft. She went on playing with a strange theme until suddenly a giant octopus came out. It was one of his tentacles and the octopus was angry. Oh, I'm sorry, please don't hurt me. And the way they dashed, the poor fish swam very fast trying to escape. But the octopus was fast. I was so scared. I didn't expect so much trouble on the sea too. If only I was the strongest beast, then nobody would dare challenge me. I wish you could be a lion, the bravest king of all. And in an instant, the fish was surrounded with many bubbles. She closed her eyes in fear and heard the roar of the sea. And just as suddenly, the sound disappeared. She opened her eyes and found herself standing in the middle of the jungle. His roar was so loud, it made, it made all the leaves around him tremble and shake. I am now a lion, king of all the jungle. No one will dare to come and harm me. I never knew how much power a lion has. But as he walked along the jungle, he stepped into a hunter's trap and was soon trapped inside a cage. Let me out! Let me go! And from behind the bushes came the hunter. They were very evil looking and the lions started to be afraid. What an amazing lion! If we take him right now, we will be able to sell him for a very good price. No, no! Please don't take me anywhere! Someone help me! I don't want to be a lion anymore! I wish to be a queen again! It was just a dream! Oh, I'm so happy to be myself again! My lovely legs, my beautiful beak, and my strong and miss Magnificent wings! The queen had learned her lesson. It is important to be grateful for what you have and what you are. After all, God had created us for a purpose. Thank you.